To write the Lewis structure for MgF2, that's magnesium fluoride, let's write Mg in the center and then fluorine on either side. Magnesium, that's a metal, and then fluorine, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal bonded to nonmetals. That makes this an ionic compound. And in an ionic compound, valence electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetals. So we have magnesium in group two on the periodic table. That means it has two valence electrons. And then fluorine in group 17, sometimes call it 7A, it has seven valence electrons. So we said the metal in an ionic compound will transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So the magnesium transfers one electron here to the fluorine. And now the fluorine has eight valence electrons. It has an octet. And then the other electron on the magnesium goes to this fluorine, completing its octet. Since magnesium has lost those two valence electrons and electrons are negative, it now has a two plus charge. The fluorines, they each got an electron. They got a negative charge, so they have a negative charge. So if you add these up here, you'll get zero because this is a neutral compound. We should put brackets around the fluorines and you'll sometimes see brackets around the magnesium. So the magnesium lost the valence electrons. It became positive. Fluorines, those are negative. So the positives and the negatives attract. That's what makes the ionic bond. And the brackets show that this is an ionic bond that the electrons were lost by the magnesium, gained by the fluorine atoms, and that there's not any sharing like in a covalent compound. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for MgF2, magnesium fluoride. Thanks for watching.